Are you not entertained? Get ready to plunge back into the heart of ancient Rome as Ridley Scott unveils his much-anticipated sequel, Gladiator 2. From the star-studded cast to the challenges of production, join us on this epic journey into the heart of ancient Rome's resurgence on the silver screen. In the world of cinematic history, few films have achieved the iconic status and widespread acclaim that Gladiator 2000 did. Now, two decades later, the anticipation reaches a fever pitch as the sequel, Gladiator 2, helmed by the visionary Ridley Scott, is poised to make its mark on the silver screen. The upcoming epic historical drama, scheduled for release on November 22, 2024, promises to be a cinematic spectacle, reuniting audiences with the grandeur of ancient Rome while introducing new layers to the narrative. The ensemble cast of Gladiator 2 boasts a stellar lineup, with Paul Meskel stepping into the role of Lucius Verus, the nephew of Commodus, who now emerges as a grown man. Accompanying Meskel is the legendary Denzel Washington, portraying a former slave turned wealthy arms and commodity dealer, with a compelling grudge against the emperors. Connie Nielsen reprises her role as Lucia, the mother of Lucius, while Derek Jacobi returns as Senator Gracchus, a distinguished member of the Roman Senate. The film also features Joseph Quinn, Fred Hetchinger, Pedro Pascal, May Kalamawi, and an ensemble of accomplished actors, promising a captivating blend of seasoned talent and emerging stars. The journey towards Gladiator 2 began in 2001, with discussions about a potential sequel or prequel. Over the years, the narrative evolved, focusing on Lucius, Maximus's secret son, set 15 years after the events of the original film. Ridley Scott, the driving force behind the sequel, navigated through various script iterations, including a fantastical concept involving Maximus in purgatory and a rejected plot centered on Maximus fighting across historical periods. After overcoming financial hurdles and a change in studio ownership, the sequel did find its momentum. Ridley Scott expressed enthusiasm for the project and discussions with Russell Crowe, the original Maximus, were ongoing. In 2018, Paramount officially greenlit the development, signaling the revival of the long-awaited sequel. The script, taking place 25 to 30 years after the first film, centered around Lucius, reflecting the challenges and complexities of a Rome corrupted by power. The casting process for Gladiator 2 unfolded with careful consideration, with Paul Mesco ultimately chosen for the pivotal role of Lucius after an impressive performance in the miniseries Normal People. The ensemble cast, including Denzel Washington, Connie Nielsen, and Derek Jacoby, bring depth and authenticity to characters, creating a seamless connection with the narrative of ancient Rome. The production journey faced its share of challenges, from script rewrites to scheduling conflicts. Filming commenced in June of 2023 and was as at Morocco, with additional locations in Malta and the United Kingdom. Despite a temporary suspension due to the 2023 sag after strike, the production resumed, fueled by the determination to deliver a cinematic masterpiece. As the release date for Gladiator 2 draws near, the anticipation and excitement surrounding this cinematic event continue to build. Ridley Scott's dictatorial prowess, coupled with the stellar cast and a narrative that promises to delve into the complexities of ancient Rome, sets the stage for a sequel that aims to captivate and mesmerize audiences just as its predecessor did. Now brace yourself for an epic journey back in time, where gladiators rise, empires fall, and the legacy of Maximus lives on. Given the colossal success of the first Gladiator, a theatrical release is expected, allowing audiences to experience the grandeur of gladiatorial combat on the big screen. However, the possibility of a streaming release, especially on Paramount+, Plus, remains intriguing, considering the changing landscape of film distribution. Gladiator 2 is still in pre-production, with its lead actor confirmed, a tentative release date and place in the screenplay finalized. Although no trailer has been released, the anticipation is palpable as fans eagerly await the first glimpse of a sequel's visuals and tone. The details about the plot of Gladiator 2 remain shrouded in mystery, but recent casting choices provide intriguing clues. With Paul Mescal taking on the lead role of Lucius, the nephew of Commodus, fans can expect the storyline to explore Lucius's journey after the events of the original film. Will he follow in Maximus's footsteps, choosing the path of a gladiator over the Roman throne? Well, Gladiator 2 boasts an impressive ensemble cast, with Paul Mescal leading the charge as Lucius. Denzel Washington joins the lineup, portraying a character tied to Maximus's forbidden past. Other notable additions include Pedro Pascal, Joseph Quinn, May Kalamawi, and a returning stars like Connie Nelson and Derek Jacoby. The diversity and talent of this cast promise a compelling on-screen dynamic. Ridley Scott, the visionary director behind the original Gladiator, returns to helm Gladiator 2. 
With a stellar cast and a script by David Scarpa, the sequel is poised to capture the essence of its predecessor while exploring new narrative dimensions. Do you know about Gladiator? Let's look into a few more interesting and epic facts about the first movie. Released in 2000, Ridley Scott's Gladiator proved to be a monumental success, reinvigorating the sword and sandal epic genre. The tale of a betrayed Roman general turned slave, portrayed by Russell Crowe, not only dominated the box office, but also left an enduring mark on popular culture. The film's opening sequence, set in 180 AD in Northern Europe, involved a colossal battle filmed in Bourne Woods, Surrey, England. Ridley Scott seized the chance to burn down the forest, aligning with the Royal Forestry Commission's deforestation plans. Maximus, the protagonist, had two horses named Argentino and Scarto engraved on his armor. Translated from Latin, Argentino means silver and Scarto means trigger, paying homage to iconic Western horses. Russell Crowe, in the role of Maximus, contributed one of the film's iconic lines through improvisation. The line, strength and honor during the battle sequence was not scripted, but emerged spontaneously from Crow. DreamWorks pursued Ridley Scott for the directorial role by presenting a painting titled Polis Verso by Jean-Leon Jerome, depicting a gladiator standing over a fallen opponent. This visual persuasion played a crucial role in securing Scott for the project. To depict ancient Rome realistically, Ridley Scott aimed to avoid cliches, insisting on grounded realism. The costume team, led by Janty Yates, crafted over 10,000 costumes and almost 30,000 pieces of armor were crafted for the movie. Scenes set in Rome were predominantly filmed in Malta, including the construction of a 52-foot-tall replica of the Colosseum, which cost $1 million. The lead role of Maximus Decimus Meridius went to Russell Crowe, but rumors circulated about other actors considered, including Mel Gibson, Hugh Jackman, and Antonio Banderas. Crow, initially dissatisfied with the script, was convinced by Ridley Scott's pitch, emphasizing a $1 million budget, ancient Rome, and a general directed by Scott. Despite script dissatisfaction, Russell Crowe's commitment to the role was unwavering. The physical toll was immense, leading to injuries ranging from loss of feeling in his right forefinger to a cracked hip and dislocated bicep tendons. Joaquin Phoenix's portrayal of Emperor Commodus was marked by nervousness. Phoenix, a rising star at the time, fell out of his depth and even offered to reimburse producers if he could walk away from the movie. The real Commodus, on whom Phoenix's character is based, was a merciless historical figure. He fought in the Colosseum, staged brutal executions, and contributed to the fall of the Roman Empire through extravagant spending. Oliver Reed, playing Proximo, added his eccentric touch to the set. His improvisations included an unscripted crotch grab in a scene. Reed's unexpected death during filming prompted rewrites, a body double, and CGI to complete his role. Gladiator left a lasting impact beyond the silver screen, contributing to increased interest in Roman history, known as the Gladiator Effect. Books related to Cicero and Marcus Aurelius saw a surge in sales as well. Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, share with your friends, and subscribe to stay updated. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you in the next video.